I'm a physician, but I still like going into the meeting. I like the stupidest person in the room. Because again, I'm not an oncologist, and I certainly had less content knowledge than other people there. But I think just really keeping in mind that you are being uh, included for a reason, and that there are perspectives that you have that probably no one else on the panel has exactly. And feel bold. Nobody's gonna like come down on you for asking a question they already know the answer to. And uh, I really was worried, frankly, going into the process that I would be like the mascot or something. But nobody, nobody made me feel that way. I really felt uh, genuinely appreciated by everybody else on the panel. So anyway, for anybody coming into this program, Go for it! <laughs> if there were no patient reps? Well, it's interesting that, uh, of course, I went to medical, I graduated from medical school in 1977, and at that point, of course, there weren't patient reps, that uh, I think the whole process has always been benevolent as far as that goes, but more narrowly, um, focused on the numbers rather than the lives and the people who are being affected. And I really did feel that, um, although I didn't uh, make tons of comments or ask tons of questions, I thought just having me there um, representing the patient point of view, really being a visible um, manifestation of what was being discussed, really did sort of change in a subtle way the way that other people discuss the issues. And uh, I think also there are some ways in which uh, things can be, make sense statistically, but not really in terms of you know, what people's real lives are. And um, it's slightly off the subject, but my father had um, a, a coronary artery bypass and had suffered what we in medicine would call a minor stroke but it ruined his life. And I think really bridging that gap between what we say is medically minor and what we as people feel is medically major, that's something that we bring to the table.